It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 4th of May. I'm James Spann. Yet another active convective day today. We have a chance of strong to severe storms and heavy rain across the state. Let's go right to the upper air look across the country today. Once again, a very energetic flow pattern, a trough coming into parts of Texas and Oklahoma with convective activity not that far away. That was the radar early this morning, a little before 5 o'clock. We have an organized batch of thunderstorms coming across Tennessee and extreme north Mississippi. The bulk of that will stay north of the state, maybe clipping the far northern row of counties. Otherwise, showers very isolated. It's a very muggy morning. Temperatures are in the 70s in most spots. Tuscaloosa, 76. We'll expect low to mid-80s today. There is a flash flood watch in effect for southwest Alabama for today and tonight. But all of Alabama is going to get a good soaking, that's for sure. Uh, we note that a severe thunderstorm watch has just been posted for the northernmost counties of the state. That would be Lauderdale, Limestone, Madison, and Jackson. That's until 11 this morning. Here's the overall severe weather outlook for today and tonight. We have a risk of severe storms from the Gulf Coast up to parts of Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Delaware. In Alabama, much of the state in a level three out of five enhanced risk of severe storms for today. Peek at the probabilistic outlook for wind, and this is the main issue, damaging straight-line winds. And we note that 45% area over parts of west and southwest Alabama, the rest of the state in the 30% area. That means there's a 30 to 45% chance of damaging winds within 25 miles of a given point with the rounds of thunderstorms we see today. And we'll go through the modeling here in just a second. Tomorrow, a marginal risk from the Gulf Coast up the Atlantic Coast. That marginal risk clips the far southern part of Alabama. And uh, those showers will be ending down there probably by mid to late morning tomorrow. And day three, which is Thursday, got a marginal risk over parts of the Florida Peninsula. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Pretty wet down here for most of Alabama. Rain amounts will be in the two to three inch range between now and Tuesday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run at 4 o'clock. Here's your incoming trough. Soupy air mass. Let's go down to the modeling here. This is the high-res NAM. This is the first batch that should be coming through. This is this morning at 10 o'clock. And uh, we'll have that band of storms passing through uh, late this morning. And uh, with this, there could be some strong gusty winds, maybe some small hail. A brief tornado possible, but not especially likely. The more impactful event will likely come later in the day. This is 5 o'clock this afternoon, and this is the main batch of storms pushing into uh, west and northwest Alabama. Ahead of that, the instability values are very robust for early May. You can see Tuscaloosa, uh, Birmingham values exceed 3,000 joules per kilogram. Very unstable air. Uh, this is the SRH, the storm relative helicity, 0 to 1 kilometer, and that's certainly sufficient for a few rotating updrafts. And the STP values are running in the 2 to 4 unit range. So uh, that batch of storms coming through. By the way, this is 7 o'clock this evening. With this line, we could see a lot of wind damage, I'm afraid, uh, damaging straight line wind. Uh, that's the main concern. There could be an isolated tornado or two within the line. Uh, there could be some small hail, maybe larger in spots, and obviously heavy rains. So uh, multiple rounds of storms today, and uh, everybody needs to pay close attention. And again today, be sure and pay attention to severe thunderstorm warnings. Then by 10 o'clock tonight, those thunderstorms pushing down into southeast Alabama, so they're going to be moving through very quickly. Uh, and again, that in itself will enhance the damaging wind threat. So uh, tomorrow, everything's uh, pretty much out of here for the northern half of the state. There could be some lingering showers and storms tomorrow morning, mainly for the southernmost counties of the state in southeast Alabama. But for the northern half of the state, uh, morning clouds giving way to a partly sunny afternoon, cooler with highs in the low to mid 70s. Thursday should be a mostly sunny day with mid 70s. Friday, same thing, lots of sunshine, mid 70s, very nice weather. This is Saturday looking good, mostly sunny with a high at 80. And then Sunday, clouds will likely increase. We could see some rain pushing in here late in the day. A warm day, mid-80s are likely on Sunday. And then Monday, a front approaches, and it's going to get bogged down and stalling out. 
as it becomes parallel to the upper airflow. It's Monday. This is a week from today, Tuesday the 11th, troughing to the north. And again, a front uh, just north of us with a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. So at least the first half of next week could be unsettled with a good chance of showers and storms. We'll go out 10 days Thursday of next week, May 13th, troughing well to the north. Then if this is right, that would be warm and dry. Rain for Birmingham a lot for the next 15 days. Off the European Ensemble, the mean is right at 5 inches between now and the 19th of May. Temperatures, we see highs back off in the 70s, Wednesday through Friday, then back in the low to mid 80s for the weekend and much of next week. And the CPC outlook, May 11th through May 17th, if this is right, temperatures around here would be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon, if weather permits, might be kind of busy later today. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.